right, so I'm working on an ECM motor. This is on an, uh, an American Standard. I'll try to get the, there's the, there's the model to American Standard. Uh, it's a no heat call, um, and the blower motor wasn't coming on. So I attached my, uh, my ECM tester. I did power it up earlier. Uh, this is the Universal Zebra, and this is a, this is a GE ECM 2.3. So I use that, uh, this connector here. I've got the other connectors here, the, Adapter B and C. I, I haven't had to use those yet, but I am using the adapter A, which is for GE 2.0 and 2.3. Um, let's go through my troubleshooting, do it a little bit backwards here. I'll kick some power on here. I gotta verify high voltage. Should be able to do it right here. Let me get this. Yep, 120 volts. Um, even with the high voltage, when I Engage my universal zebra. I wasn't getting any motion on the, um, the fan at all the next step of course would be to Check the resistance. I already pulled the the uh, control module off the top. And you want to check the uh, the Windings it's tough to do one-handed here And all windings are 4.9 and 4.8, 4.9, wiggling around a little bit too much here. Let me get it locked in. It's 4.9, 5.0. So the three windings, I've tested all three of them, they're fine. So when we diagnose these ECM motors, if it has voltage and the windings are good, typically they say it's the uh, control module that's bad. So I went ahead and got a new control module. It's right here in the box. American standard, so I went to the terrain dealer and I got a new one. The new one comes with a two piece. It has the, the control module, and it has an adapter ring. Here's the adapter ring. And that's going to get it up to the same height as the, the other control module. Let me get this put together and we'll, and we'll test it out and see how we did. Alright, so now I've got the module changed. I've got my Universal Zebra uh, plugged in. I've got 24 volts coming off of the board. Um, let's see if I can get this. Uh, when you engage power, you see I've got power on, it's upside down, but I'm going to go ahead and turn the fan on. And there she goes. So that's how we diagnose a bad ECM blower. It's different than a regular blower. We have to go through and check, uh, can you control it with either your ECM tester or in my case the, the Universal Zebra. I'll get you the right side up here for a second. Universal Zebra. You verify that you have 120 volts coming to it. If you have 120 volts coming to it and you can't power it up with your Universal Zebra, pop off the ECM module that's here and you got to check the motor windings. If the motor windings are good, they say it's just the module. If the motor windings are bad, they say it's the motor. So you might have to change up both the motor and the windings. So that's it. We'll put it back together and start her up. Hey, one last bit of caution for anybody that might be trying to do this themselves at home. That warning right there is real. You take this ECM uh, control module off the back of a motor and go put your fingers inside here, and even with no power connected to your furnace, you will zap yourself. And it hurts. Have a good day.